So let's say, for example, I'm someone, I've done some work, I've, I've gotten, you know, an awareness of the direction that I want to have in my life. I know what my passions are. I'm kind of moving towards them. Are there things that I could do on a daily basis that will just kind of improve my self-awareness to just keep me tapped into myself so that the external noise isn't penetrating my, you know, life as much as it, as it would ordinarily. What are some things that we can do on a day to day? You know, w without wanting to kind of promote my work or anything, you know, having a, a coach or having a mentor for me is something vital. You know, I, I personally have done a lot of processes with coaches. This is why I understand the value. But having someone that keeps you accountable is very, very important. And for instance, my, my coaching processes are on a weekly basis. So there is tasks and uh, goals and uh, micro steps that uh, allows us to go to the macro steps, which are done on a weekly basis. And so that's for me vital. You know, if you really want to get deeper into your goals or reach them faster and in a more conscious way, then I would say that that's something that uh, I find uh, so valuable that I would recommend everyone. Uh, the other thing is is to do uh, something um, like a meditation or practice on a, on a daily basis. Either yoga, which I find so amazing, which I've been practicing for a while now, or uh, some sort of active meditation or passive meditation, you know, something that anchors you, especially in the morning, you know, first thing in the morning if possible so that you know either either you know go for a walk you know it doesn't have to be like meditation or spirituality or something like that it could be like going to the gym or getting a friend and going for a run or just walk, going for a walk breathing some fresh air you know seeing the sunrise or or being in touch with with those first rays of sun you know something that that really makes you do something uh, on a regular basis on a daily basis if possible otherwise you know uh, Again, choose a topic, do an online workshop or read a book, which uh, I find it really, really important. The other thing that I would really recommend, which is something that I coined the four pillars of health, is to really make sure that you have a balanced diet. It doesn't have to be vegetarian or vegan, you know, just having balanced uh, diet in terms of minerals, in terms of vitamins, in terms of protein, um, in terms of omega oils, you know. So that everything like inside your brain and inside your body is, is on, a, on, on its maximum potential. And then to really drink a lot of water, if possible, two liters per day of water, uh, which is difficult, but you know, do as, as, as much as you can because it really oxygenates the brain and gives that fluidity to the, to the blood. Um, and then really to, to sleep at least six to seven hours per day. Uh, many people do not really understand the power of sleep. Many scientists are coming forth saying, you know, sleep is one of the most important things in life. So that, that's something else that I would really, really advise, you know, keeping track of when you're going to sleep, waking up uh, at the same time every day and, uh, you know, uh, training your body and your mind and your brain to really allow you to having a good night's sleep.